Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day number 10. We are in the car headed to the airport because we're going on a little vacation. It's a short vacation, but we're going on one nonetheless. So we are dressed up to the nines, ready to go. So Ryan's in his uniform. He's representing our company well for the non-rev uniform policy. Um, and we are super excited to get this day started. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Boarding starts in about 45 minutes. And uh, we'll let you know where we're going when we get there. All right, guys. We made it to the airport. It's rainy, it's cold, but we're not gonna let that get us down, right? Nope. So where are we headed to? New York City. And it's supposed to snow, and all we ever really get here is Texas snow, which is ice, so we're excited. It's gonna be cold, but it's gonna be fun, and it's an adventure, so we're gonna take y'all along with us, and we're gonna have fun. We are gonna have fun. And we're actually taking American Airlines directly into JFK, because there's something there that we wanna see, we've never seen before, and we're definitely gonna vlog it. Yes. So we'll see you guys when we land. So we actually just got off of the air train from Terminal 8 and made it all the way to Terminal 5, which is actually the JetBlue terminal. But the entire purpose for flying into JFK is... We are going to the TWA... Hotel. Hotel. And if you haven't heard of the TWA Hotel, Google it right now. It is the most awesome experience that we are about to live. Um, TWA went out of business in the early 2000s and their terminal has actually just been sitting here at JFK and they have revamped it into a hotel. All of the hotel staff wear the old flight attendant uniforms, there's a museum. We're super excited. I'm really obsessed with the whole TWA uh, situation and I call it that because American acquired TWA right before um, they were going to basically go out of business. So on December 1st, 2001, they uh, stopped all service. That was the last day of TWA's existence. And this was their terminal they used for um, all departures and arrivals here at JFK. So without further ado, let's go over and check out this hotel. Yeah, we can just see it right behind us. We're so excited. It's right back there. We're making our walk right now over to the TWA Hotel. 
It's a little bit rainy outside, but we're not gonna let that get us down. But it's just right back there. I mean, the architecture of that building is stunning. We're gonna go take a trip back in time. For sure. We're gonna go to the museum, probably grab a drink at the lobby bar. It'll be fun. just plays all of the flight tent uniforms from the time that the airline was inducted until 2001 when they ceased all service. So from the very beginning all the way to the very end around. So the uniforms are all mixed in by dates, but these are definitely the older uniforms, and they were done by famous designers such as Don Loper, then you had Ralph Lauren, we have Valentino, so they had some really high class names designing their uniforms.
right guys, we have made it to Manhattan. We've been here for about an hour now. So we took an uptown train from lower Manhattan right in the middle of rush hour and man, it was a struggle getting here. Just to try to even like breathe on the subway, it was so crowded. Well, first of all, it got dark. It gets dark early in New York. And when we were on the subway, I looked down at my watch and it was saying 4.50 and I looked at Travis and I said I thought it was like 7 o'clock in the evening Yeah, because and was... at the same time we saw that train passing that was completely full I was like oh my gosh there was so many people Yeah, so it was almost subway. pitch black by the time at 5 o'clock So up to this point we've made it to Manhattan, we took a stroll through Bloomingdale's, got some amazing banana pudding over at Magnolia Bakery and now we just made it to the Plaza Hotel So we've made it to the Plaza Hotel, which sits just on the lower east side of Central Park. So we're gonna walk through, kind of take a look at their Christmas decorations, and then I think we're gonna take a stroll through Central Park, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, they have like an ice skating rink set up and all kinds of stuff. So we're super excited to do that. I'm um, looking for the pigeon lady from Home Alone. <laughs> that is true, she lives there apparently. But like, right now it is only 6.30, and I swear it feels like it's like nine or 10 at night. But that just means we have more to be able to do tonight. But we also did get up at, it would have been 5.30 a.m. local, 4.30 our time. Yeah. So let's go take a stroll. Yeah, let's go take a look at some more Christmas decorations. through the Plaza Hotel. It's decorated beautifully as you could see. We met these two ladies. We're not sure where they were from um, but we asked if they wanted to take a picture in front of the Christmas tree together. So we took a, Ryan took a picture um, for them and they asked if we were vloggers because we had our camera equipment out. So we gained two new subscribers from that. So thank you ladies if you're watching Watch this. this. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Well, we have found the ice rink here in Central Park, but I think because of the weather, it is closed today. But it's still pretty cool to see and take a walk around. We'll show you guys as best as we can. Um, it's not lit up too well because it is closed, but oh well, at least we found it. It's a beautiful evening for a walk in Central Park. Yeah, as you can tell, we have our umbrellas out, so it is sprinkling, and they're calling for a winter mix in a few more hours. Yeah. And then at five o'clock in the morning, it's supposed to really snow. And <laughs> then tomorrow morning, it's supposed to snow and then tapering off yeah. into the afternoon. So hopefully we'll have some white stuff tomorrow. Hopefully we will, but we'll show you as much of the ice skating areas as we can. So it's not lit up too, too well, but this is the ice skating ring here. And then over here is like where your skate rental is. I think they have a coffee shop, hot chocolate stand in there. So under better circumstances, this would be absolutely stunning to be able to watch people ice skate, maybe be adventurous and ice skate ourselves, but not this trip, I guess, next trip.
So we are at the Lincoln Center, which of course is where the Metropolitan Museum of Art is. It's where the Met Gala is held every year. Right now they have the Nutcracker going on. So there's loads of people out and the energy is super high right now. It's a little bit cold and it's starting to drizzle and the wind is blowing right now. And my head is getting cold so I'm gonna have to put on my hat. <laughs> but enough of weather talk, I'm taking in the views. It's stunning. And just as many immersing ourselves in the city. As many times as we've been to New York, I've never been to the Lincoln Center. It's the so first. It's a cool, it's a cool uh, experience, I like it. We're trying to do everything we didn't do two years ago, so True. we're we're trying to do stuff that uh, is new to us. Yeah. yeah. Vlogmas day number 10, right on the doorsteps of our Brooklyn Airbnb. Yes, it was a fun night, fun late afternoon by the time we got out on the streets. And yeah, we totally enjoyed it. We did, but now that it's getting close to midnight, it is getting cold. And, and it's to, sleeting, actually. It is sleeting, and we're supposed to wake up to snow, so hopefully we get to vlog some good snow tomorrow. Yep. So we'll see you on Vlogmas day number 11. And we're going to bed. <laughs>